This video is all about holds, what they are and how you place one. What is a hold? It is a request to library staff to pull the next available copy of an item, put your name on it, send it to another branch if necessary, and hold it at the circulation desk for pickup. You may want to place a hold for new or popular items that are completely checked out. If you place a hold, we'll put your name on the wait list and get you the next available copy of that item. Placing a hold is also the way to transfer items between branches. Place a hold for an item and we'll send it to your preferred location. You may also want to place a hold for the sake of convenience. If you place a hold on an item, we will gather the material and place it at the circulation desk for you to pick up so that you don't have to spend time searching for it. How do you place a hold? You can either contact a staff member either over the phone or in person, or you can place the hold yourself by going to the library's website. Go to the library catalog, search for the items you're interested in, and once you have located the item, you just simply click place hold and it will ask for your library card number and your PIN number. Have those numbers ready. If you don't know your PIN, contact a library staff member and we will look it up for you. When the place hold screen comes up, make sure you select the correct branch from the drop down so that the items are sent to the right location for you to pick up. Once the hold has been placed, it can be anywhere from a few hours to a few weeks before the item will be ready for you to pick up. You will receive a notification by phone or email when your materials have reached circulation and you can come get them. Once you're through placing holds, make sure to click log out if you're on a library terminal or on a shared device because you don't want other patrons accessing your account by mistake. And those are the basics of placing holds. Never hesitate to place a hold either with a staff member or, or online. We're always happy to do whatever we can to get you the materials you need. Please leave me a comment down below if you have any follow-up questions or suggestions for future tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for further information on how best to use library resources. And as always, thank you for watching.